Hello people, in this video let us look at what angular bacterial conjunctivitis is, ABC. Angular conjunctivitis, it is also called as diplobacillary conjunctivitis. It is caused by this bacteria Moraxella axenfeld. Moraxella axenfeld, okay. So these bacteria are the, like this diplobacilli end to end, they are uh, arranged. So it is diplobacillary conjunctivitis. Okay, so you know what the conjunctivitis is, right? You know what conjunctiva is, first of all. So conjunctiva is a transparent mucous membrane, right? Where and all you will find it? You will find it here, posterior to the eyelid, right? And you will also find it on this white part. That is the bulbar conjunctiva. So you have two types of conjunctiva. You have palpebral conjunctiva, that is here, behind the eyelid. And on the white part, you have the bulbar conjunctiva. And then you have conjunctival fornix, etc., which is there, which is joining these two. Anyway, so you, have, you know what conjunctiva is. Then you know what conjunctivitis is. Conjunctivitis is the inflammation of the conjunctiva. There will be conjunctival hyperemia. There can be discharge. Okay. So it is inflammation of the conjunctiva. Do you know the types of conjunctivitis? Okay. Let us look at the types of conjunctivitis. You have infective. Then you have allergic, then cicatricial, then toxic. So where are we currently? Currently we are in this infective type of conjunctivitis. So under that bacterial, viral, so many types are there, right? In that bacterial you have angular conjunctivitis. So ABC, angular bacterial conjunctivitis, it comes under infective. So what about this word angular? Angular, so somewhere at the angle of the eye, right? So, if this is the angle, so you can see angles will be more affected. So, this is angular bacterial conjunctivitis. Let's get started with the details of this angular bacterial conjunctivitis. It's a chronic conjunctivitis because there will be mild grade infection, inflammation in this. So, chronically it will be running a mild grade inflammation where near the angles. That is why the name uh, angular bacterial conjunctivitis, it will, there, sometimes there will be involvement of the uh, surrounding skin also again around the angle. Why does this happen? We already told you Moraxella axenfeld, MA, this is gram negative, diplo bacilli actually they are arranged end to end. Rarely even Staphylococcus bacteria can cause this um, angular bac bacterial conjunctivitis. So if people are not maintaining hygiene, there's poor sanitation, if they live uh, where they are exposed to these irritants, if they rub the eye, Insomnia, if people are not sleeping properly, metabolic disorders if they have, these are all the predisposing factors. Okay, then what else is there in the slide? Source of infection is nasal cavity. Mode of infection from the nasal cavity to the eye, they are touching with your fingers or handkerchief. So basically they are transferring the bacteria into the eye. So what is the cause of uh, angular bacterial conjunctivitis? Moraxella. Okay, Moraxella axenfeld. Okay. Pathology, how does this actually bacteria, How what does it do? It secretes some, it produces some proteolytic enzyme, lytic, lytic, it is going to break something, right, the protein. So it's a proteolytic enzyme it is secreting, this, this enzyme will collect where? At the angle of the eye and what and all will it affect? It will affect the conjunctiva's epithelium, only the epithelium of the conjunctiva, the lid margin and the skin, these three always you say in continuous, okay. So what and all will it affect? The epithelium of the conjunctiva, the lid margin and the skin all these the skin here let's see all these around the angles okay near the canthus all the angles will get affected look at this the, the layers of conjunctiva you have the epithelium adenoid or lymphoid layer and fibrous three layers only in that what is affected the epithelium is affected by what the bacteria the proteolytic enzymes so, what are the proteolytic enzymes damaging the epithelium of the conjunctiva? How? By the proteolytic enzyme. Yeah. So, what and all are affected? Epithelium of the conjunctiva, lid margin and skin. Mild grade chronic inflammation. This is chronic condition. What are the clinical features? The patient will com complain of irritation, burning sensation, dis discomfort, right? Then history, he will uh, there will be foamy discharge, foamy, foamy discharge, don't forget this word, foamy discharge, white, dirty white colored foamy discharge and all the angles will be red, angle, always blame the angle. What will the signs, you will see hyperemia of the bulbar conjunctiva, here they are talking only about the bulbar conjunctiva, they don't seem to be talking about the palpable conjunctiva, here you can see the white 
on the white whatever the conjunctiva is there right that bulbar conjunctiva only is uh, hyperemic then lid margins near the angles everywhere they will put off angle angle near the angle whatever lid margin is there that is also hyperemic then excoriation of the skin around the angles again angles around the angles whatever skin excoriation excoriation means what skin picking okay skin picking is uh, excoriation then always what will you observe uh, foamy discharge mucopurulent discharge that dirty white they said right that discharge where again at the angle of the eye so let's draw some foamy discharge here take one dirty white and put some foam like bubbles there is some foamy discharge like this let's imagine what are we reading people angular bacterial conjunctivitis very good there itself we saw what foamy discharge <clears throat> complications if you don't treat it blepharitis so blepharitis means what inflammation of the eyelid blepharitis and corneal ulceration so now it spread to the cornea see till now it was only conjunctiva problems conjunctivitis now it went to cornea and created corneal ulcer how have we shown corneal ulcer here see this is the cornea so this is the pupil here they have shown corneal ulceration so what type of ulceration shallow marginal catarrhal corneal ulceration just remember corneal ulceration for now so these are the complications so where and all it went it went to the eyelids and went to the cornea to cause ulceration these are the complications whenever it goes beyond where it has to be that will be complication how will you treat it very easy just give them antibiotic because it is caused by bacteria so what is the antibiotic um, oxytetracycline antibacterial you can say oxytetracycline this is bacteriostatic tetracyclines are bacteriostatic isn't it 1% oxytetracycline what will you give ointment i ointment 1% oxytetracycline is this 1% let's check it's not written here okay let's see if there's written for animal use only oh my god no 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 not this one then okay so oxytetracycline just remember 1% ointment eye ointment then zinc lotion you can give in the daytime they can apply zinc lotion and zinc oxide ointment in the bedtime so basically uh, this uh, oxytetracycline will affect the bacteria itself bacteria itself uh, they can uh, control what about this uh, zinc lotion what does this do it inhibits the enzymes okay it inhibits the proteolytic ferment okay so it will reduce the maceration okay so it will inhibit the proteolytic ferment we are saying so did you understand the treatment good so can you tell the treatment for angular bacterial conjunctivitis oxytetracycline 1% to 1% ointment zinc lotion in the morning zinc oxide ointment in the night excellent okay other than that any other things uh, supportive care and all that you can give now um, let's take a recap uh, angular bacterial conjunctivitis a b c is caused by diplobacilli that is bacteria moraxella axenfeld then um, it is a chronic conjunctivitis mild grade inflammation will be there near the angle near the angle near the angle that's why it's angular bacterial conjunctivitis surrounding skin around the angle predisposing factors as hygiene causative organism moraxella axenfeld gram negative diplobacilli they are saying it is arranged end to end rarely staphylococcus can cause the source of infection nasal cavity mode of infection from nasal cavity to the eye contaminated fingers handkerchief pathology these bacteria secrete proteolytic enzymes these proteolytic enzymes collect at the angles by the action of the ethers they collect at the angles they macerate the epithelium of the conjunctival lid margin and skin which surrounds the angle of the eye what else symptoms um, a person will complain of irritation burning sensation discomfort and there will be a history of what guys foamy discharge right um, redness in the angle of the eye signs you will see hyperemia of the bulbar conjunctiva hyperemia of what the bulbar conjunctiva hyperemia of the lid margins the skin everything around the angle mucopurulent foamy discharge at the angles complications blepharitis corneal ulceration treatment oxytetracycline 1% oil ointment zinc lotion zinc oxide ointment that is the treatment so you understood why we are giving the uh, oxytetracycline because you want to uh, side the bacteria kill the bacteria and zinc to control those enzymes which these bacteria are re releasing that's all for now in angular bacterial conjunctivitis meet you in the next video bye bye